All right, so today we're gonna talk about having a totally different mindset around your strategy. So I love watching these goofy obstacle course races with my kids, things like wipe out, stuff like that, right? Where these people uh, are trying to, you know, jump across wet, slippery plastic balls, climb up, you know, ropes while people are shooting things at them, having to walk a tight rope, you know, while carrying things across their back, like really ridiculous stuff, right? <laughs> And as I'm watching these, if I was like collecting data on it, there are certain obstacles that inevitably are set up for these people to fail. There are, they are not getting across it. It's, it's, it takes a very unique individual to scoot through that situation, uh, if any. And what I would do as a coach, if I was actually coaching somebody for one of these events, what I would do is say, let's assume that you're going to fall off of this. Let's assume you are not going to cross that rope and you're going to be in the water before you know it. Let's make our strategy not to get across the rope, but to learn how to get out of the water quick. How can we get back in the obstacle race fast? How can we get you, uh, we're going to totally change our strategy. You're going to fall off the rope. Let's just accept that. <laughs> Let's make a game plan for how to get you back over to the side, back up into the race before everyone else. That would be our mojo. That would be what we were doing. So you say to yourself, hey, Heather, why are we talking about wipeout and goofy obstacle course races? Because that is very much akin to your weight loss journey. Your weight loss journey is full of these ridiculous obstacles you will face because let's be honest, food is everywhere. We tend to, a lot of us use food to cope with feelings and emotions and things that we haven't come to terms with yet. And what I see a lot of people struggling with is they want to cross the tightrope. They, they want to be that rare individual who can somehow catapult themselves off a wet, slippery ball and launch themselves onto the wall. And, and we want to be that person. But where your power comes in and where this changes for you is when you say, no, I know I'm going to fall off and that's okay. <laughs> I know I'm going to be the person who's in the, in the pond at the bottom and I got to get out. So I'm not going to make my goal to be perfect. I'm not going to make my goal to cross some of these ridiculous obstacles. What I am going to do is be the person who makes my mission to get my butt out of the water and back in the race before everyone else. That's where I'm gonna strategize. And honestly, that's what made my binge eating recovery successful. I stopped trying not to binge, honestly. I, I didn't make that my focus anymore. I pivoted my attention. Like if that was the big slippery ball that I had to bounce across, I stopped assuming I was going to do that. I started assuming I was going to be in the water, you know, and I had to get back out of the water and into the race as soon as possible. That allowed me to make progress as opposed to staying stuck. Same thing with my weight loss. There was plenty of times I overate, plenty of times that I didn't make the kind of progress I wanted to make. It wasn't about falling off the ball or the tightrope. It was how quickly could I get back in the game. See, and this is why I always talk about your perspective, your point of view, where your thinking is, because as long as you're mentally trapped on, I've got to be the one rare human being who, who manages to do this ridiculous thing, um, then you're putting a lot of effort into something that probability would state you're not going to do. And you're constantly feeling frustrated, constantly feeling worn out. Whereas if you just let yourself fall off the ball and then you say, oh, where am I putting my energy? Where am I putting in my gusto? It's getting back out of the water and back into the race because you know what? Those few obstacles, people still win the game. Okay, like people do not do well on these particular obstacles. They still win the game. Why? Why do they win the game? They win the game because they don't quit. They get back out of the drink. They get back into the race. And those people, every I've watched a race where everyone misses the exact same obstacle. Everyone does. And the reason I want to share this is because your fixation on wanting to do that obstacle and when you got, fall off, you don't have a good game plan to get back in and get back in quick. That's why you're not making progress. It's not because you fell off. It's because you made it mean something more important than what it does. Because if you know 99% of all people are going to fall off the big ball with the water spraying at you, you're not going to be shocked when you're one of them. <laughs> 
And then what do you do? You turn around and you say, okay, but if I put all my effort, all my attention, all of my energy into just getting back out, getting back into the race, I could have a shot at winning this thing. And that is where I want you to put your attention. You're going to fall off. You're not going to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm now almost nine years of maintaining. I'm not perfect. I don't want to be perfect. I'm human. <laughs> I'm letting go of that. That's a lot of responsibility. What I am willing to do, though, is get back up every day, get back in the race. That's where I want to see you move. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.